a lot more knowledgeable about a situation or about just life in general, about yourself, about things that are happening or going on um, in reality or around you, all right? Um, for some of you all, I do see here someone could be trying to find out more information about you, okay? They could be trying to figure out how you're gaining some sort of knowledge or some sort of wisdom of some sort, all right? Um, for some of you all, this wisdom has to do with some sort of spiritual guidance, okay? You may have been gaining wisdom uh, from someone or something recently, um, and it is involving some sort of spiritual guidance. Uh, you could have been gaining this information from um, spiritual downloads, from meditations of some sort, studying, learning, really just looking at your life, um, analyzing the things that have been happening or that you have been experiencing, okay? Um, for some of y'all, you may have realized that you are meant to be a uh, healer of some sort. You might be a prophet, okay? Now for a few, you may be a prophet or you're meant to be a teacher of some sort. If you have a lot of knowledge and wisdom that you have gained, okay, over the years, over your life, it is very important and very valuable for you to share that with others and part that on to others, or at the very least, find a way to leave it behind as a, a legacy of some sort, okay? Because a lot of people can um, definitely benefit tremendously from that wisdom and that knowledge that you have, okay? Yeah, try to, um, you're being told for some of y'all to try to make it a habit um, to collect this information or this wisdom or to write it down or to pass it on or something as often as you can, okay? Make that a habit. So make it a habit, for instance, like once a month or once a week or uh, whatever to... Uh, Put this information, save it somehow, okay, or this wisdom, or this knowledge that you've gained, or that others may be imparting upon you, okay, because it'll be very beneficial, all right? For some of you all, you may have been learning recently how to be more um, intelligent with your money. Um, you may have learned how to invest recently, or um, you may be um, using your money for more beneficial reasons, or you may have been um, saving more money recently. You're trying to spend very intelligent, very wisely. Um, you're trying not to go overboard, try not to um, put too much of your money in the wrong places, things of that nature, okay? And you may have been guided spiritually to do this for some sort of spiritual reason. All right for some of you all you could be saving money for a spiritual purpose or a spiritual reason or to invest in some sort of spiritual guidance that could be valuable for you or you may come across some sort of spiritual guidance or wisdom that is very valuable for you that you may want to invest in but also be uh, wise about what you're spending or how you're gaining this information or whatever the case may be okay Look at this, y'all. I love this reading for you guys so far. Oh my gosh. So you may have been experiencing a uh, powerful energetic abundance recently. You may have just been gaining some really amazing spiritual downloads, spiritual knowledge, spiritual wisdom recently, okay? And um, one of the reasons this has been happening is because you're meant to deliver this information to others who may not be in the position to be able to gain access to this information or this wisdom on their own, okay? Um, you may have been feeling more inspired, more motivated, um, more um, happy all around. Something could have happened recently that that um, is, is why you are experiencing this energetic abundance of some sort. You could be in some sort of spiritual training and you may have realized this recently, okay? Or you have um, come to 
jump out of some sort of spiritual training, maybe leveling up, right, to the next level of your spiritual um, journey or your spiritual existence, all right? You may need to save more or spend more intelligently because it's going to be invaluable for this next level that you are um, moving into or this next part of your spiritual journey. Y'all, something miraculous is happening in your life or is about to happen in your life, okay? And it may be directly tied to some sort of wisdom that you gain or some sort of spiritual guidance you have been experiencing, all right? For some of you all, this energetic abundance may almost feel miraculous, all right? If you were feeling lethargic in the past, down, low, miserable, that has ended for a lot of you all. And it has been replaced with very beautiful, um, powerful energy. That is going to allow you to carry out um, your plans to fulfilling your divine mission. Okay? For some of you all, you may start to miraculously receive a lot of money. Or things just may miraculously start going very well for you. Okay? That allows you to um, gain more money or save more money or something. Also maybe being told to be careful if this is not involving money and it's not really like a be careful like oh woo woo it's like um be aware of how much of your energy you're sharing with others okay or that you are um giving to others all right um because you don't want to like overly expend yourself or you don't want to waste the energy that is being given to you divinely. You don't want to waste that on individuals who didn't deserve it or who don't value it or who don't appreciate it. All right? realize that you have some sort of spiritual gift or ability that you may not had ever realized that you have and this may come about due to some sort of miraculous event or it may be concerning a miraculous event of some sort you could have gained some sort of um, spiritual power or spiritual ability through a miraculous event I can see how that that's possible because I personally am one that has had that happen to me in the past and others have as well so this is definitely possible okay or you may have been wondering where you gained some sort of spiritual ability of some sort some spiritual gift of some sort it has something to do with some sort of miraculous event Looks like um this energy that you are uh gaining okay or that has been inspiring you motivating you and influencing you is allowing you to become more courageous to be more um strong willed more determined all right unstoppable okay yeah you definitely have a lot of knowledge of some sort that average individuals may not have you may be very prophetic, okay? You may have the ability to see into the future. For some of you all, you may have the ability to heal people, okay? Miraculously. Something you all 
are about to manifest or have manifested it may it's it seems or it's gonna seem miraculous like it's almost gonna seem impossible it could have something to do with your success or some sort of power you know my it may dad even have to do with something that. that you've created you know my dad okay you know my dad and shit you know my dad I bet I'm messing his mind up when I be writing this shit. But you got to remember this shit at me. Yeah, the altar baby. That I put this shit on to read it so to I'm really everybody. sensing that you're in a good position right now in life. Um, you've picked uh, very good people to be around or involve yourself with or um, not to be involved with. Okay. Yeah, um, good, 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 good you stayed away from them. You're yeah. focusing on your own spiritual development, yeah, your I own do, spiritual you know uh, involvement, to, upliftment, know. okay? Um, you know, you know, Champ, you know, came to my truck and I was writing some stuff. Champ, you know, I try to tell him what I'm writing. He don't like to listen, you know. He don't like to hear me tell him that. Jeremy told me one time. That it sounds like you slapping them in the face every time I teach them something. You know what I'm saying? You know they don't like me to use them as examples, like when they go to jail and stuff like that. They like to get right out. You know they don't like to have to stay and you know stay in there till the bail. You know till they sit it out. Now they, they want me to come right in and get them. You know what I'm saying? But then you know the world champ. You know what I'm saying? It's the same way. You know, Champ asked me, why? I said, I'm writing. He said, why? I said, because, you know, I'm writing. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know what to say, but the answer, Champ, you know what I'm saying? I know I wasn't around, y'all, because he told me the kids, I need to go in the house and play with the kids or get out the truck and play with the kids because the kids had been outside playing and I was in the truck writing, you know what I'm saying? And he thought I needed to be out there playing with the kids, you know what I'm saying? He was working on his truck, you know what I'm saying? So he felt like I needed to, instead of being uh, uh, in the truck uh, uh, riding, you know what I'm saying? Then, you know what I'm saying, he thought I should have been out there talking to the kids. But then, you know, I teach Champ, you know what I'm saying? For a legacy, for God's legacy, you know what I'm saying? For God's legacy, for the air we breathe legacy, you know what I'm saying? You know, to let everybody know that God finally found out who he was, came into his own, you know what I'm saying? And his own is Christ, you know what I'm saying? And Christ is each individual person. And Antichrist is any individual that don't believe that Adam is Jesus. That's what it is. You don't have to believe that Christ died for your sins because he didn't. Daddy wasn't pleased with them killing Jesus, murdering Jesus. You know what I'm saying? That's a lie. Talking about it pleased him to bruise him. How can you even, you know, stand with a lie like that <laughs> as a God? You know what I'm saying? If you was a God, T.D. Jackson, Creflo Dollar. How could you even receive the mark of the beast money? How could you even receive it? You know what I'm saying? And try to keep it from people that that's what it really is. You know what I'm saying? Why would you even, you know what I'm saying, put price tags on food and clothes and everything that God gave Creflo if Jesus did everything and if Jesus made the clothes, if Jesus made the food, if God did everything and it was finished, why is it price tags on it? Why is it something to be sold? If God did it, it ain't to be sold, is it? And then why do y'all preach and sell the word of God or sell or put a price tag on coming in your church? I can understand you got building fund all that. Why wasn't the building built on partnership, on love, you know what I'm saying, friendship? Why was it built on money? You know what I'm saying? Do y'all less love one another than the beginning? You know what I'm saying? Or is it that y'all just kept lying on Adam and Eve talking about 
it was about disobeying and the whole thing was about disobeying God. You're a damn lot, T.D. Jackson. God ain't never said that he, you know, it pleased him to bruise nobody. And God ain't never asked you for no sacrifice. He said he desired mercy and grace and not sacrifice. So why you lie and say, I, you know, ask for people for their money. When I said, go sell all you have, give to the poor, then come follow me. I wouldn't act no hypocrite. If I would be a hypocrite if I only told that to one man, you know what I'm saying, an antichrist, he wouldn't have told nobody nothing. He'll still be trying to steal 10%. And he'll say the man that's coming and saying, give all you have and follow me, go uh, give all you have, share with everybody, then come follow me and you'll have in this life everything this and that just like the other you know what i'm saying it's in that bible you know i just don't know which which one it is and you'll have you know uh let me see where's that when let me see let me let me see if i could google it in a special way you know what i'm saying to uh google it in a special sentence See, it's about your wording. It's about your sentences. It's about your paragraphs. It's about the letters that form your words coming together as a God to, you know, do what you need to do. Let me see what I'm looking for. Okay. The young man, the young man that that Jesus told to sell to sell everything to sell all he have to sell okay and then he said then saying, saying, then saying, you will receive from. something I would have wrote a long time ago that they changed and made it a, something that would nobody know. Left words out. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like the one that say for he that come to, to God must believe that he is and left it like that. You know what I'm saying? Just so won't nobody ever say. For he that come to God must first believe that he is God. And that he too, just as God, is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Why would I tell the story in parables about a man going to another man's house asking can he borrow three loaves of bread because he got somebody came into town and he want to feed him. You know what I'm saying? Matthew 19, 21 through 24. Now, now Mark, I think it's Mark, Daddy. Go to Mark, because we went to my Matthew 19. Go to Mark, Daddy. Go to Mark. I guarantee you we'll say it there. Mark, Daddy. This the way you do it, man. This the way I do it, Creflo. This is how I get it. This is how I get it. This is how I get it. I ain't trying to keep nothing from y'all, man trying to teach you how I do it. You don't have to sneak in and steal it. If you steal it, you can't have it. You know what I'm saying? Then you come back born again, still trying to be a preacher and still trying to preach Christ crucified. Lying on us. And we 2,023 years old now. Shit. 
2009. I tried to tell you I was 2009 then. You know what I'm saying? But you didn't believe me, shit. I told you I was God then, shit. Mean and shit. You know, I'm 2009, motherfucker, shit. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Let me see, daddy. 1021, daddy. 1021. Mark 1021. See, daddy study the Bible different from me, but I be relaxed and just, you know, in my own world, you know what I'm saying? I ask all evil to go back to whoever thinking it of me, you know what I'm saying? Let me see. Okay, that's about the marriage. The marriage. Okay. Okay. Suffer the little children to come to me. Forbid them not. See that word forbid? That's a word that you can use either way. It could mean don't allow them. And they could turn around and say it means you allowed them. They could say don't allow them. Or it could say, you know, uh, don't allow them. And it could even say, for be it, mean for it, and be it them in. Be it them to the wet. You know what I'm saying? So instead of saying for be it, you can say for be it, or you can say for be it. But I'd rather you split this word up, divide it, and say for be it means let them make it. And for be it, you know what I'm saying, we not going to use that word no more. We don't want to stop people and put bondage on people no more. Verily I say to you, and we're going to stop putting that un in the front of words, undoing words before they are being spoken. Whosoever shall receive, not who shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, he shall not enter therein. That's what I meant. You know what I'm saying? As a little child, TDJ, this the baby that that's in my mama's stomach that was spoken by daddy that was going to come. And then it's rowing. James, Jakai, Jesus, the real Jesus, that's my name. And then, um, you know, uh, Logan, Liam, you know what I'm saying? We all grandchildren of God, and we got many more, you know, cousins and family members, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, okay, now. Okay, if you don't receive the kingdom as a little child, you won't come in. So you got to be born again. You got to receive it as a child, not a grown man. Why call this you, me, good now? Why call this you, me? Me and you, one. That's why I said you, me, without a quotation mark. You know what I'm saying? I said you, me. Write one word. That's one word. You, me. It should be you, me. In one word. That's what I said. It's just you, me. You know what I'm saying? Why do you call this you, me, good? There is none good but one. That is God. That is the pure love that's in us. That's what we are all supposed to be being. We are all supposed to be being God, being love. Being God is being love. We got to believe that we God, like I say, for a man to believe that he God, I mean, uh, for a man to come to God, he must first believe that he is God. You know what I'm saying? Forget they left out when I said that the first time. And going on through it and say he must first believe that he is God, and then he must um, uh, diligently I mean, he must, uh, and he must uh, also be, you know what I'm saying? What is it? He must, for a man to come to God, he must first believe that he is God. And that he too, as God, is a rewarder 
of you know uh of him that seek him who diligently seek him so he is a rewarder god is a re congratulator of everybody not somebody jealous of and envious of creflo dollar and td jake he's not jealous and envious he don't want to kill somebody because of a ruined reputation that was supposed to be ruined what you want to do keep teaching people killing christ is all right and and that's how y'all got power from God was because you killed his son, which was a lie. And it pleased God to bruise him and shit, all them lies. You know what I'm saying? And then he said, do not commit adultery, kill, steal, and destroy, defraud not, honor your mother and father. That's what I mean. Honor your mother and father means apologize to Adam and Eve and never have no ill will to think they disobeyed God and lie on them and say they did. You know what I'm saying? Obey, I mean, honor your mother and father and Adam is your father. He only 27, 57, but he 2023. And he answered and said to him, Master, all these things I, I observed from my youth. I've been preaching. My name is Creflo. You know, I'm the young ruler. And one thing you lack, go your way, Creflo. Sell whatever you have and give it to the poor and love them. You know what I'm saying? Instead of looking at them saying they less than you. <laughs> and you shall have treasure in heaven because you will be in heaven then if you check it all in. Go bring you all the tithes into the storehouse so there'll be meat in my house and prove me now here with. If I won't pour out a, the tr uh, open up the wonders of heaven, give you all my treasures picks perfect paradise in heaven and come and take up your cross and follow me you know what I'm saying and he was sad Creflo and like you mad trying to figure out a way to lie to God lie on Adam some more and make him look bad so you'll look good again and went away grieved for he had great possessions and he sit up and not do nothing but get on the internet with his Psalms 91 issues. You know what I'm saying? Lying on God. You know what I'm saying? How hardly shall they have riches enter into the kingdom of God, TDJ? You rich, man. I told you the first going to be last and last first. Children, how hard is it? Uh, for them that trust in riches to enter into the kingdom of God. It is easier uh, for a camel to go through an eye of a needle for a rich man uh, to, to enter into the kingdom of God. And then they said, uh, uh, with men it is impossible. But not with God. In God all things are possible. Verily I say to you. There is no man. That's what I told the man that just couldn't give it all. This is what I told him right here. This is what I'm talking to y'all in front of Walmart saying. You know what I'm saying? There is no man that have left his house like Adam did. His brothers like Adam did. Sisters, a father, a mother like Adam did. A wife like Adam did. Children. Adam still got his kids. But he don't be around all the time. Got to be at home. Be at work 12, 16 hours a day. Get him a little sleep. Then go back to work. You know what I'm saying? Children are lands for my sake. And I, Adam did it all because he God. And he love to do what he do. He the creator of love and the gospels but he shall receive a hundredfold now y'all in this time houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and make movies and he gonna have lands with persecutions no way keep that shit out of there ain't no persecutions in my shit I ain't no incorruption in heaven in the world to come, eternal life, happily ever after. But many that are first, you know what I'm saying, they going to become last.
and the last first. Many that are first shall be the last, and the last gonna be first. So, TDJ, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, man, everything free in the stores now for you and everybody else. Everybody rich now. I could give you a check, you know what I'm saying, give you a million dollars and two thousand dollars a week like I started off saying. I could give you that. But then I'd rather just take the price tags off the food, make it easier, make it more easier for people to go grocery shopping, make it where ain't no long lines, you know what I'm saying? Make it automated with a driver's license or credit card. Not credit card, but God's charge card. You know what I'm saying? Just charge you. You know what I'm saying? No money. You know what I'm saying? No more money, man. Shit. Money killed a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? For that man to turn around and and, and say he don't want God because he couldn't give all the money he had. Sell it all and, and leave everything like Adam did. Adam did it. You know what I'm saying? I had to do that, man. But I told you it's in there somewhere that you know you receive a hundredfold now in this time all the houses that you lost all the brothers that you lost all the sisters and mothers and children that you lost all the land that was stolen from you gonna be given back without persecutions because i don't play that shit don't fuck up my bible and in the world to come eternal life happily ever after you know what i'm saying Behold, we go to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man shall be delivered unto the chief priest that, you see I said unto on that day, because that'll never be. <laughs> we ain't going to be delivered up to nobody. You know what I'm saying? They being delivered up to the heavens, you know what I'm saying, they self to be judged. Why did you kill my son? That's the question I'm going to ask. That's the question Adam just asked. Just prepare your essay and your apology to Adam and Eve for messing up the mind of God and the heaven of heavens. Because the mind of God is the heaven of heavens. That's all y'all's mind being mine. I'm the own heir of everybody. It's God, not no damn Abraham. You know what I'm saying? Bye. You know what I'm saying? I'm just bullshit. But then, you know me, man. I like to play around and shit. You know what I'm saying? I do. I ain't lying. I like to have fun. Come on, now. Oh, it's on. For some of y'all, you're being told not to give all of your wisdom or your knowledge. <laughs> oh, you get away. I ain't giving it away. I ain't some of it. I can't hide it. Shit, this, this is just shit. You gonna live? You got everybody know how to talk and walk and shit. I can't hide my wisdom, and I can't hide that's gifts of God. The gifts of God is just simply the life of God, Don't man. Being able to move all your hands and fingers and stuff. Something like that. In one setting or in one situation. Like, for instance, if you're writing a book, don't put everything you know in, the, in one book. Make multiple books. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, you right. You right about that. Cause they said you was gonna write some of the books, not just me. When we was gonna get together and make sort? the books. And everybody going what it, what the word was, Daddy, and 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 something about the book but and the book was gonna be right. Don't overexert yourself in one thing. Split and it books up was into gonna be written for him, that you know, whatever, Daddy. Something like that. Books gonna be written. Or him you're definitely that a mastermind of some sort, or you're yeah. you're masterminding something amazing, like something miraculous, okay? That is going to um, Thank you. improve your life tremendously. Thank you. All right. Thank you. That's what I've been trying to do. Oh wow! <coughs> but for some of you all, you could have realized that someone you were dealing with, who you may have stopped dealing with, okay, um, they were two faced. 
all right um they would act one way in front of your face and act another way behind the scenes okay or with others all right um yeah that's the way like like for instance listen to creflo dollar when he got an audience out there when he got a congregation then listen to him how he sound and listen to his spirit what kind of spirit he in when he by himself doing them psalm 91 it's just dry as hell it ain't shit with it but when he got more souls that help him out that don't really believe in him but it's crooked as him then them evil souls will get in him and he'll be all mouthy and shit you know what i'm saying but then when he at home by himself like when the COVID went, T.D. Jakes and them wasn't in the riots and stuff like everybody else was. Well, y'all was, T.D. Jakes, on YouTube, trying to turn they thing from when God put them out of church, trying to turn it from that's where y'all start getting all y'all money stolen by T.D. Jakes and them from. When COVID hit and, it, and God put them out of church, they had to start stealing money from the people out here at YouTube. So YouTube is really for the preachers and the government to make their extra money off people that they don't allow like me to pay them and do service like it's supposed to be. That's why I don't want no service. I ain't paying nobody to do nothing and I ain't gonna get paid by nobody to do nothing because that's the mark of the beast. Some of you all, I really sense that you're being very straightforward, very honest, very truthful. Um, which is why you're being told not to give everything or not to say everything or not to tell everything or something. Like say some stuff for yourself or I can't say it for your family that. or something. For your your people or your group or those who um what, what you want me to do let some, somebody some, else create some something you want to give uh that's what i'm trying not to do i'm not i'm trying not to let allow satan to create nothing else on his own using my kids to create stuff trying to copy off me and messing it up you know what i'm saying like leaving us with persecution why would I want to leave y'all with persecution? But if I left that up to them to write it, that's what you got. Persecution. Because they wrote it. I didn't. What I wrote, they added and subtracted from it. You could tell what T.D. Jakes preach and what I preach ain't the same way it's supposed to be said. Give all your knowledge and wisdom and everything for free, but that's probably not the best option you should charge for some of it or profit off some of it somehow because you're gonna need that money for your spiritual journey okay or to be able to experience things along your spiritual journey that may cost money all right and yeah, those right, experiences I gotta start may allow you to gain more wisdom and more knowledge you know I gotta start taking trips and 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 instead of listening to the Caribbean Carib Caribbean islands, I need to go visit the Caribbean Caribbean islands, and I need to go back to Germany as an old man to see what I missed. You know what I'm saying? I need to get me a young woman to get another child to become young with, so I can raise him up. And at least stay around him until he 20, 23, 25, 30. Then my 57 turned to 80 something like my daddy. Well, 70 something like my dad. And so on. <laughs> you know, so on. Keep sowing my years and my air and my breathing for everybody. Keep sowing love and the Spirit of God in everybody just keep doing it and I don't stop even when y'all miss me and it look like they buried me I'm the air you breathe I'm breathing now I'm God knowledge so they're beneficial for you okay so it's not like you have to go about the situation um 
just trying to make money off of you know it no there's a purpose to it okay I'll for some of y'all um somebody could not, not be tough somebody may may like um think behind the scenes that you're two-faced okay uh, yeah. um they may think yeah. that like you act one way with them but you act something completely different with others or um no can't nobody say that by god you know, you know, God don't that, do that. Um, <laughs> now you you're talking hiding two something from dudes. him or you're not talking to him about something. Oh, no. All right. But for some of y'all, this person is going to realize that that's not true. They're going to realize yeah, that, that you have been honest, genuine, uh, truthful. They're going to be able to see the truth. Okay. For yeah. others of you, this individual, um, that could be why you stopped dealing with them because of the animosity they had towards you or the mistrust. They had yeah, towards man. you or something. They ain't got paid, goddamn. Okay. It's, and that was 2008 when I made the music. They ain't asked me to come perform it. They ain't asked me to. Cause you don't be they ain't sabotaged me and said it was because of that, my opinion. They wanted to make me lose it. Always like got you walking on eggshells and all types yeah. of eggs. Like, get out of here. Nobody want to be dealing with all of that. Yeah. I'm about to see so it looks like, um, you, if you, this, you, that, you divorced. Recently, you know, okay, shit, this is uh, very beneficial. Wasn't supposed to be married. No way. That's a lie you told. That's it, from the devil, it, not God. It may not I'm about somebody who's supposed first, to be like married. Sex without marriage. Is. Uh, he hard. is out of wedlock. Is okay. a sin. That's a um, damn lie. Being married like after the resurrection was the sin. A lot of new insights and not a lot of new ways to see things, look at things. Um. That's why they'll say I'm two faced okay. or something. That been where you've been I don't believe in no paperwork and money. That's y'all's downfall. Out, signing stuff, paperwork um, and titles. You know, and staying shit. to yourself too much. Um, things of that nature. Want to be God, TD okay. Jake. That's your problem. You and then you want Now that's what you teach it. Yeah. Kind of the problem is too happy. many people want to be leaders. You know what I'm saying? All oh, motherfuckers. Because it's setting your own ass own. down. Now too many people want to be leaders. Thing. It's a problem with being okay. a leader because God set TD Jake's fat ass down. Something that's going to inspire shit. you to do that. For some of y'all, this individual that's too fast, you did not expect this person to be too fast. Shit, he already told me he's going to shoot. Or to act like how they act. Give me a couple of dollar boat to hit somebody good. Okay. This shit. Oh, wow. For some of y'all, this knowledge or this wisdom that you gained, you could have realized who could have been, um, messing up your situation or why something didn't go well or didn't go right that you were doing or why a relationship didn't work out with somebody okay um again you could have realized that that person was two-faced you could have realized that that person um was not really a true friend they were only in the situation to mess up the good that you had going on or to like distract you or to try to manipulate you and use you somehow or something. For, for others of you, if you were wondering why something was miraculously going very well for you recently or why just so, things started to really be amazing or work out very well for you, you realized or you're going to realize what that was, okay? Yeah, for some of y'all, this individual that you stopped dealing with or got rid of or realized that they weren't right for you, um, they could have been an energy vampire of some sort, all right? So they could have been, like, for instance, um, you don't mind dealing with people who you're going to share with or who you're going to um, uh, work with or be a part of, but you're not going to just be the only one giving or the only one, like, um, trying to prove their worth or their value or... That's it right there. She hit it on the nail right there. It ain't really proving your worth or value. But God ain't going to do the being God all by itself from now on. That job is left up to each individual love that was created to create loves. You all are creators. Love creators. You all was made love to 
to become who you is and gave life by making love. So you are all I call loves. L-O-B-E. Loves. You know what I'm saying? Latroid. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Latroid. You can say Latroid because Latroid tried you. So you tried by Latroid. So Latroid, you know what I'm saying? Of, you know what I'm saying? Victory, you know what I'm saying? For everybody, you know what I'm saying? Y'all won in God's eyes, you know what I'm saying? Y'all won. So like she say, it's not going to be left up just to God. God delegating his authority, his gifts, and all that. You can have them if you use them the right way. The right way is for loving, caring, giving, being graceful, merciful, forgiving, you know, going to work, meaning not really going to work, but being a partner in a business that, you know, upgrades your community. You know what I'm saying? Not to downgrade your community and kill, steal, and destroy and go around the neighborhood messing it with each other's neighbors' wives and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Coveting what your neighbor got. You know, sexually, that's emotionally. You know what I'm saying? That's the spirit. That's a demon of a devil that judges and accuses and goes out to do wicked. That's all he do is go out to do wicked. You know what I'm saying? But like you say, everybody, in the job of a God is to be graceful and merciful, forgiving. The job of a God is love because God is love. You know what I'm saying? You know, God is love. So with God being love, you know what I'm saying? With God being love, you know what I'm saying? What we do as each individual love like air. It's pieces of air. It's a whole bunch of different air that conversate with each other. You know, family, friends, husband, wives are all air called ancestors. You know what I'm saying? They're all heirs called ancestors. So you can't see them, but they little bitty in the air that we breathe. And they good, and they can be bad, too, if you mess with me. You know what I'm saying? But then, you know, they supposed to be good anyway, but they sometimes bad. But then, like I say, you know, everybody God's what God do is love, because God is love. You know what I'm saying? And we are all God's. So love is who we are in heaven. And heaven, we supposed to be having no price tags on the food, clothes, cars, trucks, and houses, and apartments, mansions. No price tags. Just living large and happy and all in charge. You know what I'm saying? But you know God is in charge. That's the air y'all breathe. And it'll stop in a minute and stop your heart from beating. If you mess with my children, Adam Jackson's are me. You know what I'm saying? Tell them like that, sweetheart. Shit. Or whatever the case may be. And it's almost like some of y'all in that situation, you realize that um, someone could have been saying that they were trying to make sure that you're trustworthy or something like that, but really they were just trying to leech off of you or pull off of you or something um pull off you meaning like cypher energy from you or like one they didn't make themselves feel bad. for one they didn't think i was real you know what i'm saying they didn't really believe they didn't believe in god for real you know what I mean? they didn't even really believe in jesus that's why they didn't say this jesus they didn't believe in god or jesus they thought god and jesus was just <coughs> somewhere in the sky and standing next to each other, you know, with God standing up and then Jesus at his right hand, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> with nothing in the spirit to protect, you know, nothing but them, you know what I'm saying? 
because of that. You know what I'm saying? Because of just thinking that Christ went out and y'all killed him. And because of each one of them stripes, he was healed. And all that stuff there because of you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Y'all killed the whole world because of you. And the air we breathe and the heart that beat for us, y'all kill it. Because of what, crap? Oh, dollar, can you give me that ass? You and TDJ. Damn, I need that answer. And I need an apology for it. And this is Adam and Eve. I need to see if y'all gonna honor your mother and father next time you born again. Better about themselves from you lowering yourself to them or for you putting yourself uh, as last priority and then putting them, and putting them all first. Like, something like that. individual might be evil okay or they're entertaining some kind of evil or the way that they think is very evil yeah, they're they're, too, they're definitely two-faced though they act like all good in front of your face with you and act cool with you and behind the scenes they want some whole other other stuff all you got to do is go to Creflo Dollar when you do Sunday services and Wednesday services and that's when he be a devil, judging and accusing, and then go listen to his confessions. And that's where he's supposed to be, thanking God and stuff, but then he really be doing the same old shit, judging and accusing, and giving thanks to everybody but Adam. You know what I'm saying? He'll give thanks to the whole world. Uh, I, I sure miss uh, Africa, you know what I'm saying? I, I love Africa. I love y'all over in Africa. I, 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 in Germany, man, I... I love y'all over there, you know. I can't wait to get back, you know what I'm saying? That's why I travel, you know what I'm saying? That's why I travel. That's why I, I do this and that there, you know. Come on, man, shit. Be real. Travel doing what? Teaching for who? What God are you helping? The devil as your God or God? You know what I'm saying? With the talking you be doing. And I'm talking to Creflo, too, and I'm talking to TDJ, too. Bill Winston, your ass, too. others of you it looks like you have helped somebody um avoid some kind of energy vampire or some kind of negative situation or you helped heal somebody recently or this situation that you're getting yourself into um or these new things somebody. that you've been trying has been helping heal you and helping to um protect you against some sort of um individual that really only wants to be involved with you to energy vampire off of you. Okay? See, like the thing, for some of y'all, you would give, give. See, the thing about it, I'm not on their time no more. Me and them don't share the same time. We on a different time frame. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, when I died, it went from daylight to midnight. You know what I'm saying? From noon to midnight. So, you know, I'm in a space and time that, you know, I met people that, you know, I knew before on my way down. You know what I'm saying? Like coming to hell to deliver all the captives out of hell. Like they say my son did, but I wasn't going to let my son go down there. I came myself. This God. You know what I'm saying? give to that person and like they would never give to you or they would give to you in ways that it wasn't prosperous or it wasn't beneficial nah, they didn't give me shit the social security they didn't time, ask me what's gonna happen when the social security run out something. you know what I'm saying that's what Creflo said what's gonna happen right? when the social security run out Creflo what's even, gonna happen some of y'all, it's when God like stopped giving you, you money through people, on to certain people you know what like, I'm you would introduce them to certain individuals or you would um when they finally believe the truth uh, and not try the to devil. help them to become more prosperous in their situation, but it's almost like they felt like you were like you owed them that, or like how did I owe? Very, um, I owed them life, yeah. But money, I didn't owe nobody money. Money, I never desired nothing to or kill nobody. Um, I desired nothing but like love. If money ain't no love, money a beast. Or, 
You know what I'm saying? Something like that. One of the reasons why this person was doing what they were doing is because they were trying to um, mess with your psychic gifts or your psychic abilities or... Um, Trying to keep you from seeing them for who they really were or what they yeah, really were. Yeah, that's what they was doing. What was really trying going to keep on in the situation. See, <coughs> what you don't know is when the Holy Ghost fall upon you, you tell the truth about yourself through the what you talk about. If you gossip and slander, the Holy Ghost gossips and slanders for you. If 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 you are taught that uh, the Holy Ghost is not a bad thing, but see, the Holy Ghost go by you. You know what I'm saying? Not me. It go by me. I say I say not me, but it go by you. You the you the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is given to you, the helper. You know what I'm saying? That's life. That's the light. That's my wisdom. You know, that's the life. That's the light. That's the, uh, you know, the life is the energy. You know, the N-R-G. You know, N-R-G. You know, like spell it out like N-R-G. Not N-R-G, but N-R-G. Write it out. You know what I'm saying? Because that's where RG is within. You know what I'm saying? Within RG. You know what I'm saying? Is our energy. You know what I'm saying? Not our inner me. You know what I'm saying? We got to get that in, that righteousness back in it. And respect back in it. And honor and glory for our mom and daddy. And sister and brother, auntie and uncle and everybody. As Adam, as God. And give Adam his rightful place. And not leave Jesus out. We Jesus is fool. Shit. Keep Jesus as our little kids. And and grown ups who just now, you know, coming to heaven. Like my little granddaughter. That's a Jesus. You know what I'm saying? That's the justice for Jesus. Still giving Jesus the body. But then God here now as the body too. You know what I'm saying? I can't leave myself out this Adam, man. What you gonna kick me out? Cause because uh, the motherfucker talked to me and told me what the fuck, you know what I'm saying? Shit. And don't be telling me that I'm a sinner then. If you don't want me to tell you you an accused other brother, then you a devil. And don't tell me the truth. I won't tell you now. You know what I'm saying? I won't lie to you. Yeah. If you have these gifts or abilities, this person could have almost been trying to test you to see if you really have those gifts or those abilities, mm -hmm. or to like, um... Wrong way to test, and wrong way to test God, man. And the wrong way to test God is to sabotage, what you were doing somehow or <laughs> cheat on like him. That. You know what I'm saying? That's the wrong way to this, test they were, love. They were unsuccessful. <laughs> and then when okay. you don't get love, that means the air stop breathing for you, because if, if you don't love the air you breathe, the, the that's love. That's yourself. God. Then God so just really say, man, I the, can't um, do it for hate no more, and hate die, because like hate thought of killing God. get you to go above and beyond for them to prove how much you you cared about them or that you wanted to work with them or deal with them or something well they did a good job they brought the truth out and I that showed me how much they wanted to work with me and how much they was gonna pay me that's all that did really you know what I'm saying that's all that did you know what I'm saying showed me how much they cared about me They want to forget about everything that happened. I do too, really. You know what I'm Hello, saying? Hello, please. I, I want Are you wanting to leave your corporate job? Worried about losing your income or possibly risking your livelihood? It's time to shatter that fear. The biggest question you need to ask you. Hi, family. Welcome back to our channel. Prophetess Nikki here. I want you 
all to know that I love you so much and I'm praying for you. I am interceding for you, souls of God. You all are heavy in my heart and in my spirit. I want you to always hold your head up and don't look down. Don't ponder on the things of the past. I love you. God bless all of you. I pray that God's face will always shine upon all of you. All of you. May the Lord keep you. May he bless you. And may God prosper you because God is going to do that, souls of God. God is going to keep his promise to you. God is going to keep his word to the souls of God. I want you to know what I heard and I want you to get this in your spirit. Don't ponder on anything in your past. No. Whatever has happened, I want you to make peace with it. God is asking you to make peace with whatever it is that you have gone through. Because you cannot take this to the next season of your life, souls of God. Whatever has left your life, I'm going to say it again. Whatever it is that has left your life, you didn't need that. You don't need anything that left. You don't need anything that you think you have lost. But God can bless you. God is going to do a new thing in your life. Did you hear me, family? Did you hear me, beautiful people? God said he's going to do a new thing in your life. Eyes have not heard. Eyes have not seen. And ears haven't heard. Nor has it entered into the heart of people what God has prepared for you. You know why God has prepared these great things for you? Because you love God, souls of the Most High God. I want you to be encouraged on where you're going. Nothing that the enemy does to you is going to prosper. The enemy has made you greater. The enemy has made you greater, he's made you wiser, and the enemy has made you stronger, souls of God. Can't you perceive what God is doing in your life? Can't you see it? You have been sensing it, souls of God, and you have hit the nail on the head. Because your spirit man knows that God is up to something. Yes, your enemy has been up to something. But whatever your enemies have been up to, you. It will never prosper the souls of God. See, this is how you know, family, where you are in God, and this is how you know that you are on the right path, and this is how you know that God has something amazing for you. You always remember this before you allow the enemy to get into your head to cause you to be depressed and to cause you to be oppressed. You have to know when chaos is there, this is a pale sign from heaven. Glory to God that the chaos is going to bring promotion in your life. It is. This is a way that God does. God is sovereign. And God does whatever He wants to do. He wants to do it in the way He wants to do it. So allow God to be God in your life. Glory to God. God is doing a new thing in your life. I mean a new thing. He is doing something that you are not going to anticipate in Him doing so to God. People are going to be so sorry that they have come against you. People are going to be so sorry that they prayed a negative prayer against you. People are going to be so sorry, souls of God, that they tried to hurt you, that they tried to get you. They are going to be so sorry, souls of God, that they tried to be brutal against you, that they tried to cast a spell against your souls of God, in your health, in your mental capacity. In your finances, in your relationship, in your business, they are going to be so proud because everything that people have done against you, they will eat the fruit of their own spirit of God. The enemies of your life will eat the fruit of their own spirit. You have people right now running to the hills. People go, people go run, people go hide, but the enemy will not to hide from the eyes of the living God. God's eyes is an evil place. Do you hear me? And God knows where people are. He knows what they're doing against the souls of God. And I pray that you will trust God with this because God is doing a new thing in your life. God is cleaning up your life. God is bringing new things in your life. God is bringing up newness. And anytime God brings newness, brings in discomfort in your life. You may feel like you have been displaced, but you have not been displaced. Glory to God. God 
God is going to teach you how to live without somebody. You may have thought you could live without somebody, but the devil is a liar. You may have thought maybe that you could not live without a certain thing in your life. But God is getting ready to show up, and God is getting ready to show out in your life. He's going to prove to you what kind of God that you serve. You talk about it, but God is going to show you without a shadow of doubt what kind of God that he is. He's a loving God. He's a deliverer. He's a healer. He's a way maker. He's Jehovah Jireh. He's Jehovah Rapha. He's Elohim. Did you hear me, souls of God? He is El Shaddai. He is everything that you need. God is doing a new thing in your life. Why do you think, souls of God, that some of you cannot relate to certain people in your life? They can't relate to you either. And you know why you can't relate to them? Because God has elevated you spiritually. He has elevated you spiritually. And these people cannot relate to you because they are in a low vibrational state, souls of God. They cannot receive the person that God has made you as of right now today. They cannot receive that person as to who you are right now. They don't know who you are. And it's okay that people don't know who you are, souls of God. God is asking you today, do not revert back. You listen to me, family. I love y'all so much. Do not revert back to what you came out of. And don't you revert back to the person that God has healed you from. God has healed you from yourself, souls of God. God has healed you from things that you have endured in your childhood for such a time as this. God needs you right now, family of God. God is calling on your souls of God. God wants you to get into a place so that you can perceive the newness that he is doing in your life. God is doing a new thing in your life. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, nor has it entered into the heart of the people. The things that God has prepared for you, souls of God. You thought God blessed you in the past. You haven't seen nothing yet. You thought you were happy at one point in your life. You haven't seen anything yet, souls of God. God is going to rock your world. God is going to blow your mind, souls of God. And it's not that we deserve it. No, it is by the grace of God. Did you hear me? It's by the grace of God that God is doing this for you, souls of God. Everything that you have endured, it, is, it was for a reason. It was for a purpose. And it was only for a season. And that season of your suffering, for some of you, has come to an end. Some of you are either in this, you're in the middle of it, or you are coming out. But I want you to know, no matter where you find yourself in this situation, souls of God, no matter where you find yourself in the chaos, glory to God, you are coming out. And you're going to come out better than what you went in, souls of God. Expect God to do more than what you have been believing him for because that's the kind of God that you serve. You serve an exceedingly and abundantly God. God is going to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you can ever ask or think according to the power of God that works down on the inside of you. God is going to do a new thing in your life. God is going to rock the world of your enemies, souls of God. Your enemies are running to the hills to find safety, but they cannot find safety because the eyes of the Lord is upon the evil. The eyes of the Lord is upon the wicked souls of God. You may not know where they are. You may not know who they are, but God does. And that all that matters that God knows. God is asking on all of you souls of God to focus on the newness that he is doing on your in your life souls of God. And I pray if you are doing anything souls of God to make your own self feel bad by thinking and meditating on what happened to you. I pray in the name of the Lord tonight that you will release these things, that you will not ponder and you will not meditate on what happened to you and why it happened to you, souls of God. I want you to ponder and I want you to meditate on the word of the Lord because as you do this, you are going to make your way prosperous. People who have been against you are not worth, worth your time. They are not worth your energy. They are not worth your effort, souls of God. And they are not worth your mind. Don't allow the enemy in your mind. Because the enemy wants to arrest your mind, souls of God. Yes, people cast spells on your mind, but it didn't prosper. Yes, 
yes, people wanted your life, but they did not prosper, souls of God. You belong to God, and God's going to bring you out by a strong hand. Do you hear me, family of God? If you have been crying, I want you to wipe your eyes. I want you to dry your tears, souls of God. And I want you to reap the things that God has for you. You are going to reap in joy. You are. You're going to reap in joy, souls of God. For the spirit of heaviness, put on the garment of praise, souls of God. God is going to do a new thing in your life, and everybody will behold it. Every person will behold what God is getting ready to do in your life, souls of God. I love y'all so much. I want you to know, souls of God, I appreciate everything that you do on a daily basis to help bring glory to God's channel right here. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Continue liking and sharing the videos, people of God, so that we can reach more hurting and broken people for the glory of God. Your enemies haven't seen nothing yet, souls of God. Remember, we will always have an enemy, but you remember this as well. Your enemy has already been defeated. The battle that you face and the battle that you fight, it is not against flesh and blood, souls of God. Don't ever forget that. And please don't get scammed on this channel. When you receive a notification, family of God, or a reply with my picture icon, it will never be me, family of God. You see the WhatsApp, the, the things that people are putting in that comment section about prayer with my picture icon on it. No matter what you see there, please. All right, now, that's, ain't nobody going to mess over you no more, mama. I'm on, you on my channel. Ain't nobody going to mess over you no more. Anything. Like they, like they be lying and saying, I'm talking about them. Let not God, I mean, let not nobody touch the Lord's anointed. You know what I'm saying? And they not even being my anointed. They don't even like me. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Let me go tell y'all why they don't like me. Let me tell you why. Because when the truth comes, the shit is about them. It ain't about goddamn... You don't know that. This is about the money right here in the mark of the beast. And I, this is about all your leadership, people that's running to uh, COVID and coveting what what the Lord got coming, you know what I'm saying, and the gifts of God and all that stuff that other people done already got, you know, and you want to steal it from them. How you going to do that? How you going to take eternal life from somebody? And receive it yourself, man. You you know die just worse because just the thought of that make the air that you breathe none uh, healthy for you. And I stood up on the sand of the sea, and I saw a beast rise out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns. And upon his heads, the name of blasphemy. I see that as ten generations. The ten horns is ten generations of Adams. And upon his head, the name blasphemy, like Ricky Lampert out there at Philip 66 with JV Industrial Services. I told him one day, I told somebody, I said, man, I'm on get rich just to see what it feel like and he screamed out blasphemy you know what I'm saying and the beast the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard you know two colors leopard is two colors and his feet were as a bear he had claws like grip on people, like slavery or like bondage from a preacher or a pastor. You know, making you feel guilty so you can give to God. What kind of shit is that? You know what I'm saying? And a mouth of a lion. You know what I'm saying? A mouth of a lion, daddy. What would you think about that? I know a lion don't lie. And a lion is, is loyal. So the mouth of a lion. Oh, it eats people, daddy. It eats people. Just a little bit, daddy. I'm just helping you out before I come into the world. 
God want to be a part of this book, Daddy. And the rest of the world is too already. They in here too. But uh, the mouth of a lion is a man eater. You know what I'm saying? A man eater. You know what I'm saying? And the dragon gave him his power and seat. The synagogue, the sin against the God of gods. And his seat, the seat of where Satan dwell, gave the preacher his seat. You know what I'm saying? What did I say about the pastors in the Old Testament? Go and find all, find me all the places where God spoke good about the pastors and shepherds and stuff. Show me all that. That's why T.D. Jake sabotaged you. Because in your song, you said they that they was feeding people polluted bread. <laughs> and great authority. He gave, you know, them his seat in the synagogue and his authority from Rome and, you know, Roman soldiers, war and Pharaoh, the Pharisees. You know what I'm saying? And I saw one of his heads as if it was wounded to death. That's when he killed Jesus. When he judged and accused the Son of God and had him murdered, you know what I'm saying? His head was wounded to death because he had no more life because Jesus had left. And his deadly wound was healed when Christ was raised on the third day. And all the world wondered after the beast. Because it wasn't supposed to be no stone left at the synagogue where Satan's seat is. It wasn't supposed to be a stone left upon it. But all it was was rent in two. That means Christians was over here, Christ, those that are Christ, and those that were anti-Christ. That's just anybody that, you know, think that Christ supposed to have died for his sins, for y'all sins. And every stripe he was hit, y'all was healed. Everybody that believed that is a beast that believed we should be killed. And they wondered after the beast. And they worshiped the dragon, which gave power to the beast. You know what I'm saying? The government. You know what I'm saying? That was behind all of this. And they worshiped the beast. The money. Saying, who is like unto this money? We can buy this. We can buy that. We can put them in slavery. It can, it can buy slaves, man. You know what I'm saying? And we don't have to give it to people if we don't want to. That's the thing. That's why God came. Because they was gonna have to, they was gonna try to design something where they could cut you off from what you earn if you don't do things they way. And so I came myself, and if they fuck over me, they gonna pay. Who is like unto the beast? You know what I'm saying? Who is able to make war with him? You know what I'm saying? God. You know what I'm saying? And there was given to him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies and the power was given to him to continue 40 in two months like Donald Trump <laughs> three and a half years and he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God saying you know I was a I was Satan when you hired me to blaspheme Adam's name and his tabernacle heaven and them that dwell in heaven, in him. And it was given to him to make war with the saints. You know what I'm saying? To overcome them, that's them two sides that was rent. You know what I'm saying? You had your synagogue people and you had your Christians following Christ. You had your Pharisees that was killing you. Christians following Christ. You know what I'm saying? And then it say, uh, and it was given to, the, to him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. 
and power was given over all kindreds. Now, this are everybody and tongues and nations. And all who dwell on earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life and the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If any man have an ear now, I want y'all to hear this, this God. Let him hear means let me hear through your ears. You know what I'm saying? Our eyes are closed now where a lot of us are asleep, but we're listening. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. If you send somebody to a trap, you shall be trapped. He that killeth with a sword must be killed with a sword. Not by guns, knives, or none of that. But those who are judged, who judge and accuse must be judged and accused. You turn their body over to Satan to be judged and accused by those who they judged and accused and gossiped and slandered. They go back to them now and they don't even look the same. They not even the same standard. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Here is the patience and faith of the saints. That's what they believe. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth that should be me I think daddy and he had two horns like a lamb and he spake as a dragon no you know what I'm saying he was a wolf in sheep I mean he was a a, a wolf in sheep clothing you know what I'm saying that's a good person that's a good shepherd he the wolf he know the wolf Tell the wolf, don't fuck with my sheep, them my kids. I ain't gonna fuck with you and your kids. You hear me, wolf? And the wolf and the lamb shall feed together. Because we got to be partners and friends, not enemies. Ain't shit in me. Evil, again. You know what I'm saying? Nothing in me. Evil, again. And he exercised all the power of the first beast before him. And caused the earth and them that dwell therein to worship the first beast. Whose deadly wound was healed. That was, you know, after Jesus died. That was Jesus. And he do it great wonders. So that he make fire come down from heaven. Because <laughs> he Jesus. He Jesus' son, Adam. On to the earth in the sight of me and like I'm doing right now daddy right now I'm spitting fire down on the earth and deceiving them that dwell on earth by means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast saying to them that dwell on earth that they should make an image to the beast which had been wounded and did live you know what I'm saying and he had power to give life to the image of the beast that's Christ that he, the image of the beast should both speak that's Jesus cause that as many as should not worship Jesus should be killed that's what they did right there put y'all in it <laughs> and said if y'all don't worship Jesus y'all gonna be killed if you come as Jesus, we're going to kill you too. So you you damned if you do. you damned if you don't. You know what I'm saying? If you worship the image, you're going to be killed. <laughs> and if you come as the image, you're going to be killed. And he calls all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive the mark in their right hand and in their foreheads of the money. And that no man might buy or sell that had the mark, the money, you know what I'm saying, or the name of the beast or the number of name. Now read that again, Daddy. And he had power to give life to the image of the beast. That's the money, though, Daddy. Hold on, go up here and read this again. And deceiveth them 
by means of those miracles which he had power to do. Money got power to do a lot of miracles, daddy, in the sight of men. Saying to them that dwell on earth that you should make an image to this money. You know what I'm saying? This is the power. You know what I'm saying? And, and it did live. And did live. You know? And the beast which wound by the sword did live. That wasn't Jesus. But Jesus did live. But they did that after Jesus lived. You know what I'm saying? Saying to them that dwell on earth that they should make an image to the beast. Which had the wound by the sword and did live. They made an image of Jesus, but then they used it in an evil way, and he had the power to give life to the image of the beast. T.D. Jakes and them, preachers and stuff like that. You know, and the beast should both speak and cause as many would not, that's the devil, that's the preachers, that's the ones that call, they scattered the sheep, daddy. They worship the beast should be killed, and any that uh, worship the beast, kill them. You know, if they worship Jesus, kill them. You know what I'm saying? That's what they said, and he calls both, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive the mark in their right hand. That's the money. And in their foreheads, that's love for money. Money, that's the love for money. And instead of God being in their foreheads and in their you know, hearts, they had money in their foreheads and in their hearts. And that no man might buy or sell, save he had the mark, money, or, you know, the mark of the beast. You could have money or loan, you know what I'm saying, have good credit, you know, the mark of you know, stealing, you know what I'm saying, being a thief, you know what I'm saying, being unfaithful to God. If you had the mark of the beast, you know what I'm saying, his mark or the name of, you know, the Satan, you know. And then, you know, the beast is a man, not Satan, but and it is being used by Satan, man being used by Satan, but the mark of the beast is a man, you know what I'm saying. And his number, I mean, uh, uh, name of the beast and the number of his name and then if I tell you the mystery you know what I'm saying it says uh, here is wisdom let him that have understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man six and sixty six like when I wrote my stuff up top on my literature I got six, one through, I mean, six, six through 12, you know what I'm saying? So six, six through 12 to me is six, 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 six through 12, six, 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 three fours, you know what I'm saying? Three fours, you know what I'm saying? And that's a third, right? You know what I'm saying? Three fours is now, a three-fourths is not a... Yes, three-fourths, it was a third. That's what a third is. So the third that got kicked out of heaven and lost your place, I'm trying to give you one. You know what I'm saying? Instead of us being enemies and fussing between God and Satan, I'm trying to make y'all gods, and, you know, you just got to be godly. Like, I'm making you soap. From now on, be clean. You know what I'm saying? That's that's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Now, here is wisdom. I gave y'all that in the number 666. But that's it, man. I'm going to get off this thing, y'all, and I'm going to talk to y'all later. Love, love y'all now. And I'll talk to y'all later. I'm going to upload this soon.